so loud. I couldn't hear it. Ah, uh, I can pull easy. Yeah, <laughs> he said it spools easy. <laughs> One thing you'll notice about this thing in the track, you're gonna be so goddamn bored, you stick in high gear and you're like, fuck, when's it coming on? <laughs> <laughs> why, hey, Steve, start. why did it Why did it idle down like that? Before he dropped it in gear, it Before dropped from I like 1,500 to 1,200. Like 1,600 to? Probably the O2. 12 or 13. Got a bunch of correction and it probably went. O2 probably started working. Oh, okay. Okay, the well, other. I'm sure you'll see it in the data. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so today's a day that we've been waiting for for a minute. Uh, the OG is ready. We've had it here at the shop for a few days, gone over everything, made the changes we want to make, made some stuff work that wasn't there. And uh, made the we, changes Steve wanted us to make. And we got Steve Petty here going over everything to make sure it's ready to go to the track. So are you excited? Am I excited to let go of the button? Yeah. yeah. Did you hear how easy that thing spooled up? Man, like that. Like, it was almost we're, like when we broke the converter to to in the other car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we laid all the fins over in the converter and the, in the turbo car, yeah. that's how fast it went up. Yep. And we were like, damn, we're figuring this spooling yep. deal out. The damn tuner. Yep. Come to find out, no. No, no. So we believe the car is ready. Steve uh, made some changes to the suspension. We've sh uh, set all the shocks. Um, just kind of going over the tune-up right now, right? Yep. I mean, we think everything's ready. We don't know. We'll, yeah. go. we'll know as soon as we let off the button, I guess. Yep. Yep. Just about time, so. We got to, uh, did you run the shifter through all the gears and everything? I did, with Click the it. button, yeah. Push the button and everything? Yeah. Okay. Um, yep. All the CO2. Now is... all we need CO2 for is the parachutes and the shifter. Yep. Fire and hole.
right, so we're back here at the track. Uh, our first outing wasn't great, but it was nothing that we were necessarily disappointed in. No. Uh, we just had no, a few changes to make. Car, we were fucking happy, man. Uh, we just kind of guessed on the on the stator on the converter, uh, and it was wrong. It wasn't right. Yeah. So. And even being wrong, the car went faster than it's ever been on a big tire. I mean, second pass, it went 102. Yeah. What Which is thinking? almost a tenth quicker to the 60 yeah. foot than it's ever been. Yeah, the fastest we've ever been to the 60 foot in this car, which I get it, it's brand new. And there's probably a lot of people who's like, man, you know there's so many haters out today. Oh, dude, so they, they, they just come in waves. Like, man. for weeks it'll be, man, you guys are awesome. And then for about three days straight, man, you guys fucking suck. But you know, yeah. okay, yeah. we get it. Ryan's that's only just like, worth a shit. That's just know? like your opinion, man. Yeah. So, yeah, I know. So you post one picture of the truck. A six-year-old truck that we just With rebuilt, rebuilt the motor, motor in, and we post that thing talking mm -hmm. about we've went from Vegas to Boston yeah. and then home in it, and all kinds of haters. Yeah. But whatever. Uh, so, yes, I'm not upset with it at all. It, uh, it's one of those things that we we shook it down. There's a few. New car bugs in it. Yeah. Uh, we went back to the shop. We took the bigger blower off the car and put the smaller one on it. And when I say smaller, that's a loose turn. Yeah. It's still a 136. Dude. Uh, like. It was just too angry in between the shifts. Uh, the converter would couple up, and that thing made 53, 54 pounds of boost. And that ain't what we're trying to do right now. No. So. Uh, we do have a couple of different gear sets just in case this one's too mean too and we need to turn it down a little more. Uh, to be honest with you guys, all we're trying to run is some low 20s. It's our buddy Tony with, so his, cool. with his new diesel truck. Uh, if we run some low 20s today and, and a couple of sub 160 foots, which the 60 foots I think is going to happen yeah. and not be a problem. Uh, and I also think that the teens will be will be no problem or 20s uh, And then after that we uh, Try to strap it down and go to the street and see what happens so Yeah, so I guess right now the guys are checking the rollout on the tires um, we'll Just make a couple minor adjustments to the tune and then go let go. Of the well, that's another thing that happened uh, We check rollout Every time we put new tires on something, uh, it's just it's what we do, and this is a reason that we do it. Uh, car was going pretty hard right the other night, and we couldn't figure it out. Uh, we made four passes. And the first pass, we let off the button, and the thing was so fat it wouldn't hardly move. It still went 109 to the 60 yeah, foot. Yeah. Second pass is when it went 102, uh, and it went a 103. It went a 104, and then a couple of 102s, and. Uh, it, but it was still, we were fighting it, and it was going hard right. So we ended up checking the rollout while we were here at the track. And in my mind, when we checked it at the house, it was half an inch difference. It was, it was an inch. Uh, an inch is, that's too much. Yeah. So what we did was we aired the shit out of the other tire. And we know that that will work for, for now. Check right now to make sure that it stayed that way, or if we're gonna have to air the shit out of the tire again and stretch it out to, to match. We know that the car went a lot straighter after we fixed the rollout issue. Yeah. So we're gonna check it again today and uh, see where we're at.
so much for that. Kind of scared me. I was like, huh, I wonder what to do. <laughs> Where it was just, I thought, I thought, man, I hope the clocks are on. I'll just make a fucking pass. So that's our second test session here with the Nova. Um, man, you know, there, we, we've got some issues to fix still. We're, we're, we're chasing our tails here. We can't quite figure it out. We think we might have found something at the last, but uh, we still need to probably test <laughs> it again. But we ran out of time, yes. It's all that shit. That's from when I took the oil in. So, yeah, no, hey, look, I couldn't be happier with the car. We just... I feel like at some point, the way that it is right now, I'm gonna crash it. 
And that's pretty scary for you to say because you've put this car in particular in some pretty hairy yeah, situations. Yeah, but it's always drove good. So there's something out there. I'm fighting with it somehow. And, and we watched a video on the last pass. And the faster we went with the car, it got better. The slower we tried to slow the car down, and it started getting real bad. It's and like it's like the car had time to react to whatever is messed up under there, and it fucking just exaggerated it. So in the last video, it looked to me like we let off the button, car goes instantly right. That's not usually our thing. No. I bring it back. I bring it back. It goes right. I bring it back. It goes right. I bring it back. And it looks like I'm fighting it the whole way down the track, and then the car's just doing this the whole way down the track. And it feels like uh, if there's any uh, Trailblazer SS guys out there, it's like you're on the highway in a Trailblazer SS and the wind's blowing real hard. <laughs> and it does this. That's what it feels like. Yeah, and you've taken or, all your sway bars off so you can get yeah. the transfer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The thing don't handle like it used to, yeah. you know? Uh, just or if seat. you got a minivan, same shit, yeah. you know? Uh, or a big toter, or yeah. a, I'm sure a semi, you yeah. know, these these things. The, yeah. Uh, it just... It looks like it's teeter-tottering going down the track. I wish, and I know how much rear steer's in it. We set the motherfucker up. It's uh -huh. got a quarter. Yep. That should be fine. But we need to, it doesn't matter. Numbers don't matter. The thing needs less. Three-eighths taken out of it yeah. is what it needs. <laughs> yeah. It's That's got what a quarter, I mean, it needs three-eighths less. It's got a quarter, it needs three-eighths taken out of it. Yeah. So, uh... And when you're out here and, and you don't have time to to run the numbers and and use a tape measure and stuff like that you just got to do what the car wants yes. and that is 100 percent what the car wants uh we went low 20s with it we went one flat to the 60 foot and then after that we started trying to go faster or yeah. slower. slower sorry no yeah it's weird but we uh, yeah no, i know i usually say that i want to go faster but we're about to go to america's list and uh we got to slow the car down I'm cool with low low 20s. We have a low 20 tune-up. Uh, we have a 30 tune-up, and now we have a 40 tune-up, and we also have a 50 tune-up. Yep. So we we did what we wanted to do. We got the tune-ups. I was fighting it to get it to the other yeah. other other end, yeah. but it is what it is. And so we'll take it home now. We will uh, probably end up coming back and testing one more time before we go to America's List. Yep. But. Uh, we literally have next week is Thanksgiving, and then after that, we gotta go. Yep. So we're running out of time here. Other than that, we uh, we took the 140 blower off. We put the littler blower back on it. Uh, we loosened the stator by four numbers, which should have been three to 500 RPM, and it was still too tight. Oh. Uh, so it's almost like. I know what the Hemi guys are gonna say. This fucking thing don't make no power. Uh -huh. Nobody needs a converter that's that loose. Hell, we don't even make them. That's yeah. what they're gonna say. Yeah. So, and you can't argue with them. What are you gonna do? Uh, I could put a different gear set in it, but it's getting really pissed off on the gear changes. Uh, it's dropping 10 to 12 pounds of boost on the gear change, and even if I draw it back, it's still dropping 1,200 on the shifts. That's, that's it's, it's, it's not lot. it's not it's just not happy so we don't really have time to mess with it so we're gonna have to go to america's list the way that it is because we're running out of time and it, every time i make a a change a, a significant change like a gear set blower converter man you starting over yeah so all of these numbers that we just got out here today they don't mean nothing and uh i really do want to thank ryan uh ryan and javi came out today and uh, Ryan's been working with blowers for a while. Oh, yeah. And so he helped me with the tune-ups, and he has been trying to slow his car down for the streets. And uh, he showed me a bunch of stuff. Hey, and he helped me out a lot, so I really appreciate that. Uh, he kept going, I mean, man, low 20s. We could run some low teens right now on this next pass. And I was, no. Yeah. No, we don't need to do that, you know? Uh, one of these days, we will. We'll take this thing and we'll see how fast it is. Uh, I 100% believe that in the current configuration that it is right now, it'll run high 90s. Uh, definitely low O's, but that's not what we need. We don't, we don't need that. My goal was to run high teens today or low 20s, and then after that, start going slower. 
And, and that's what we did. Okay, that scared the shit out of me. It's all running. I was going to say, there ain't no water in this car. Oh, yeah. Uh, can't be happy, any more happy with the car, man. It's got 10 passes, 11 passes 11 on passes. it. Uh, and three or four of those were just getting it going out of the hole the, uh, the last first week. Night, yeah. yeah, the first night. Uh, we made six passes today. And the first one out of the box, it, it, you know, it went a mid-30. And we were cool with that. Yep. And it went right down through there. And then the faster we went, it was going better and it was going straighter. And then we try to slow it down, run 40s and 50s. And it's just, it ain't happy, man. But I got an idea of what to do. We're going to pull some rear steer out of it. And if we do that, then we definitely going to have to go test again. Even if we let off the button once or twice. Right. Yep. So, we don't want to put too many passes on this before we go beat the brakes off of it on the street. Uh, because right now we obviously have 11 passes on this whole combination. So, yes. So, well, we'll run what 50, 75 on this motor? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it had 75 on it before we tore it apart this last time, you know, before we put the Pro Charger on it. They're not hard and, passes. Yeah. We're only taking this thing to at tops eight grand, yeah. you know, and we're trying not to take it that high, we're pulling the shifts back because the converter's so aggressive in this thing. Uh, I, I think ideally, we either need to mash it with more power or put a looser stator in it. Like it's, it's gonna, it's gotta happen. Right. So. Yeah. So we'll get it back to the shop, figure out what we need to do to it, and then uh, it kind of look like we're gonna hit another test session. So, um, we'll we'll get to the shop, we'll figure it out, and we'll let you guys know where we're at. Uh, until then, go ahead, click that subscribe button, share it with your buddies, comment, like, dislike, whatever you need to do, and we'll catch you on the next video, guys. Let me